front of that and ruin the shot. But oh. go ahead. We got it. America. Okay. Loser. Loser. So here's what's going to happen. Loser. So you're not explaining the format. I am explaining it. These two teams are losers. Right. The two losers are going to play each other. <laughs> the two half losers are going to play each hey, other. Hey, which one should we watch? The pointer or your finger? So. The, the, <laughs> which so, one should oh, we watch? So, okay, so the, what happens in that 9-10 game? Well, so the, the two top losers move over here. They're not the no. top losers, actually. They they're are. The worst losers. <laughs> nine, they're the first. Nine, they're, they're, they're okay. nine, and ten. nine is playing ten, Charles. Yeah, they're Tell the first two happens. losers. Okay, so what happens there? Oh, so they play each other, uh -huh. and the winner gets so moved over here. And what, what happens to the other one? Well, the, then the two baby losers, <laughs> they seven baby. and eight, put they the, they play over here. Yo, put the put the laser down. You know. Okay. Where's the and winner go? The winner goes right over here to the seven seed over okay. here. Okay. And these two losers are going to play the number one seed. Then they'll be losered out after the first round of the playoffs. Uh. And then when I have a feeling it's going to be the same thing on the other side, only in red. These are the two losers. These are 9 and 10, America. Okay. And these are 7 and 8. Read. So if 9 beats 10, what happens? Uh, they, th they play the winner. No, just what happens with if 9? They play the loser of 7 and 8. They play the second loser. Okay. Okay. <laughs> and then... That the, the the winner plays the eight seed, the first loser, they're gonna get killed. Oh, they, then the second they, loser goes down here to number seven. You seed. know what this sounds like, Chuck? What? First time somebody was explaining crypto coins to me. Hey, hey listen, I didn't know what they were talking. Crypto about. coins. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's officially that time. The NBA playoffs are officially up and ready to go. All we have left is just the play-in tournament. And oh my goodness, I'm going to be real with y'all, man. This play-in tournament, it's legit. Like, literally, it is legit competition from start to finish. Now, by the time that this video comes out, it'll be probably Monday. Yeah, most likely Monday. But everyone else is doing playoff predictions. I'm going to hold that video off to most likely Friday. Since by Friday night, at least, no, Friday morning, we should have the full bracket 1 through 8 finished. But for today's video, I am going to give my prediction on how I feel like the play-in tournament is going to pan out. And I'm going to be real. There's going to be some, I'm sure, shockers because of the simple fact that it is a one-game situation. Anything can happen, but that's the reason we love sports, especially the NFL. It's win or go home. Also, just to let y'all know, I got a ton of videos planned this week, basketball-related reactions, uh, breakdowns, videos, all types of stuff. So, you know, if you want to, you know, at least like, you know what I'm saying? But don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and without further ado, you know, let's get into the video. <laughs> First matchup we got is, <laughs> let, let's be real, man. The Los Angeles Lakers versus the Minnesota Timberwolves. And everybody knows th the Lakers should win this game. As a matter of fact, I think the Lakers should blow them out. And it, it, even shouldn't be a it shouldn't even be a close game. The Minnesota Timberwolves are literally collapsing before our very eyes. I mean, like, I don't know what happened that day, but that's crazy. And let's just put it in context. Not only did Kyle Anderson... And let's be real, he is the last guy I would have ever thought would get in a fight. Kyle Anderson and Rudy Gobert get into a fight, but it's not even just that. Jaden McDaniels injures his hand. He, what, breaks his hand for punching a wall. The best defender in the league, in my opinion, is between him and Jaron Jackson. But dude, you can't do that, man. You can't punch a wall. Man, come on, man. Bro, so that means going into the game on Tuesday, the Timberwolves are going to be without Jaden McDaniels, who is by far their best defender, who held, um, who held, I would say, amazing defense against LeBron the last time they played him. Almost, I ain't going to say clamped him up because, you know, nobody clamps up LeBron. But, you know, he, he, he did his thing. You're going to be without him. And you're going to be without Rudy Gobert, who is a seven-foot yeah, offensive liability. But still, he's another body that you can throw at Anthony Davis. So you're going to be without two juggernauts on the defense end so if uh, if i'm the lakers i'm just rim running i'm getting them in a foul trouble because once we get called the towns out of there yeah say goodbye this game is gonna be over now the only reason i'm a little nervous is because as a lakers well i ain't a lakers fan but i've watched a lot of lakers games every time they play against a team they're supposed to blow out it's just i don't know i have no idea and also, Anthony Edwards has turned up in the playing tournament before, so expect him to get 30. And expect Carl Anthony Towns to, I say, get 25 and 10. But overall, I feel like the Lakers are going to take this dub. 
Next game we got is the Pelicans versus the Thunder. And I'm going to be real with y'all. This might be the best game in the whole play-in this year. Off the simple fact that it's two young, talented teams that want that spot in the playoffs. You got this man, Shea Gilgit Alexander, averaging 31 points per game. Four rebounds and five assists. I'm going to be real. I, nobody expected this. I don't care if you're the biggest Shea fan of all time. Nobody expected this man to average 30 plus points per season. That's just nobody. I don't even think he knew. And yes, I do think this game is going to be close. I think it might even come down to the wire. Shea is going to give it his all. Josh Giddy is easily going to give it. You know, he's going to dish his dimes, do what he does. Jaden Williams going to cook up. I think this will be a very good game. However, man, that dude, B.I., oh my goodness. Dude, he literally just got done dropping 42 points in a game they should have won. And if they have Zion Williamson, they easily win this game. They easily can beat the Timberwolves with Zion. For some odd reason, they lose this game, and it's only because Ant turned into Michael Jordan. I don't know what it is. He just, he tees up in the clutch. Now, Zion, bro, what... What's going on, man? It, it, you can tell us. This is a safe space. This is absolutely ridiculous, man. They're talking about he's not even going to come back for the rest of the season. No more playoffs, no nothing. So overall, man, no Zion Williamson, but I'm going to be honest with y'all. I do got the Pelicans winning this game. Now, it will be a close game. I'll give it that, but I just feel like B.I. and C.J. McCollum is not going to allow themselves to lose. They just won't. And even if they lose this game, man, bro, Zion, you got to... Something's got to something's got to happen with him. Whether they trade him or do something. And then the last game in the Western Conference, Minnesota Timberwolves versus the New Orleans Pelicans. I'm gonna give the slight nods to the Timberwolves. I think ultimately, and is gonna be like, okay, we gotta get this going. And then also, yes, Jaden McDaniels is gonna be out. However, they are gonna have Rudy Gobert, so that's gonna help him out with size. And just to wrap this whole thing up, I think that this is gonna be should be a close game, but you never know, man. And. Ant different in the clutch. He might turn into MJ, and this might be a 20-point blowout. And now, taking our talents to the Eastern Conference, we got the first matchup, which is the Miami Heat versus the Atlanta Hawks. And I'm going to be real with y'all. Playoff Jimmy is real. It is the real deal, and I fully expect the Heat to go away with this victory, man. Yes, I understand they got Trey Young. They got DeJounte Murray, Clint Capella. But come on, man. It's Jimmy Buckets, bro. Jimmy should not lose this game. And yes, I know we sometimes clown Jimmy and, you know, he likes to make jokes, but he a killer, man. I mean, he the playoff Jimmy is no joke. He legit. And also, the biggest reason that I think that they're going to win this game, dude, they got three guys averaging 20. They got three guys averaging 20. Bam, out of bio, Jimmy and this man Tyler Hero. Oh, my goodness. And they got Kevin Love, who at least is going to give them at least 12 to 15 points per game. He should at least give them 10. No reason, but... Man, this should be a blowout, to be honest with you. Then you got probably, no disrespect, the most boring game. You got the Raptors versus the Bulls. Not even going to put too much effort into this. because it, is it? No, I'm just being real with y'all, man. This is going to be a boring game, in my opinion. Overall, I will give the win to the Bulls because they do got Zach Levine and DeMar DeRozan. Also, Alex Crusoe. However, they got no Lonzo Ball. They do got Pat Bell, but ultimately, man, it's, it's not going to do much. Yes, the Raptors do have a good core, but I think ultimately the Bulls are going to come away with this win. And then for the last matchup, we got the Atlanta Hawks versus the Chicago Bulls. I'm going to give the nudge to the Atlanta Hawks off the simple fact that Trey Young, I think, is going to have a monster game. Yes, they do have Zach Levine and DeMar DeRozan, but I'm going to be real with you, man. Like, I just don't know about this Bulls. I, I don't know, man. I don't know about this Bulls team, bro. It's like they should be winning. But yet, they're so low. I have no idea why. I don't know why. Hopefully, someone can explain to me. But regardless of that, I think Atlanta gets this done. Hopefully, this will be a good close game because entertaining. But you never know, man. So, overall, the Hawks are going to win this, and they're going to be the eighth seed. And those are my predictions for the playing tournament. And as I said, this is my opinion. But overall, let's just hope for a good playing tournament. I'm going to drop my full playoff prediction on Friday when the bracket is full. But that's going to do it for today. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one.